hello viewers welcome to qtp functional testing videos myself odai in my previous video scheduling qtp test i forgot to explain you about how to schedule that vbs file in win xp machine so i just want to explain that process in this video for that what you have to do is you just if you are using win xp machine you just click on start menu okay in all programs go to accessories and in system tools you will find schedule tasks okay you just click on schedule tasks then you will see a window schedule tasks window window so here you just need to double click on add schedule task option okay then it will display you the schedule task wizard window you just click next here okay after that in this window what you have to do is you just need to click on the browse button okay once you click on browse button it will uh, pop up you a browse window okay uh, i forgot to take that snapshot but what you have to do is you just need to in the browse window you need to give your vbs file path okay so whatever the file that you choose there so it will be the next screen will be displayed like this here you can choose whatever the option that suits you it can like you know if you want to execute script daily weekly or monthly or whatever based on your requirement choose your option okay once you choose your option this is the scheduling time okay at whatever the time that you want to execute you specify the time okay after that you just click on next button and it will uh, ask you like you know uh, username and password okay this is your system login credentials okay so whatever the with whatever the credential that you are logging into the system you need to give that username and password here okay upon clicking next it will show you the summary of the scheduled task okay just click on finish button okay so the uh, scheduled task will be added and it will be automatically triggered when whatever the time that you configured has reached okay once it reaches that time it will execute the qtp script that is how we will <coughs> we need to configure the vb script file okay thanks for watching this video please leave your comments Thank you.